Welcome back to Coffee Talk. Grab your coffee. Yes. Join us for our talk today. Today we're going to talk about can we retire early? A lot of people are yes. asking that question. It's all over YouTube. The fire. Financial independence. Retire early. Mm -hmm. So people are starting to think, geez, can I retire early? So we're gonna we're gonna look yeah. and see some things you need to think about. You need to think strategically. Yeah. Um, sometimes if you're on a pension system, if you reach the age 55, you can start drawing your pension. However, you can't start drawing Social Security yet. So that's something that you have mm -hmm. to think about. So if you are eligible to receive a pension at age mm -hmm. 55, then you can go on the Social Security website and get a projection of what you will be getting in Social Security when you turn 62. 62. Okay. So Then every year you wait, of course, like we said before, mm -hmm. your Social Security is going to be going up. So you, you know, you can just start using good judgment and, and think, you know, because everybody wants to retire early. The earlier, the better. And if you have the finances, then yeah, retire as early as you can. But you need to really check out the Social Security website so you know when your Social Security is going to kick in where you can really use the money and you'll have enough money to retire. And that's why it's so important to save for retirement because mm -hmm. if you do uh, have a pension that you're eligible for at age 55, if you have saved for retirement, you could start drawing some of that down too to retire early. The second thing you need to think about is to kind of pressure test your IRA or your 503B um, because in some instances you can receive money at age 55 without having an early withdrawal penalty. Mm -hmm. So those are some things that you need to investigate and see if that's something because you don't want to have an early withdrawal penalty for no. sure. And then there's something called the 4% rule. Mm -hmm. If you draw 4% of your savings the first year and then adjust it for inflation in subsequent years, it could last up to 30 years. So that's something that you can figure out mm -hmm. as well. So if you retire, which probably most people do anywhere, say around 65, 66, and you you use that rule and last for 30 years, that would put you around 95 and that would be a good, good retirement at 30 years. Right. So those are some things that yes. you can look at to see, can I retire early? Another thing that you have to think about to see if you can retire early is health insurance. And that is probably the big yes. thing. And so if you retire at age 55, you'll either have to go to the marketplace and find health insurance, and sometimes that is yeah. astronomically expensive. Or maybe you could get on a COBRA plan where you are retiring from, but even those COBRA yeah. plans, oh my goodness, they are really yeah. crazy expensive. So health insurance these days, uh, for the United States anyway, yeah. it, it's a major factor when, when most people plan their retirement because that's a big expense. Yeah. Because every year your your um, health insurance cost is going to be going up even when you retire. Your premiums, your supplements that you have, they're going to be going up. So you need to plan that before you retire, knowing, thinking, well, my retirement, or be thinking that you, my health supplement is going to go up probably anywhere from 3 to 5% or 7%. And again, every year do a budget. And if you see that something's gone up a huge amount, then Look at your budget and see where you can cut back. And as Keith just said, another thing that you need to do to see if you can retire early is create a post-retirement budget. Mm -hmm. Because you have to know how much money do I need coming in? And is my pension and the little bit that I draw from my savings, is that going to meet my needs? Mm -hmm. um, if it's not, then you have to come up with yeah. another plan. Yeah. Uh, but that's something that you need to, to do and to have down before you make that decision if you can retire early. Every year we found out every January or 
first part of January anyway, that we have to sit down and rethink our budget because Social Security is going up, not much, but it's going up. And then whether it's 3% or 5%, most of the time it doesn't go up near as much as cost of inflation. So mm -hmm. we're always constantly looking at ways that we can cut back on our budget so that we can enjoy our retirement better. That's right. And we had to save a little bit more because we want to travel. We want to go mm -hmm. places and do things. And that takes more money mm -hmm. than if you just stay at home. The fifth thing that you need to look at to see if you can retire early is see how you can protect your portfolio. Yeah. Because when you retire early, you have to walk a fine line because that money that you have saved is gonna have to last you the rest of your life. And so you have to be very diligent as far as your allocations and how much you're getting and because you don't want to retire early, run out of money no. and then have nothing but social security. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> and the last thing we're gonna look at as you look to see if you could retire early mm -hmm. is you need to look at your retirement spending. When you're so used to saving, saving, saving. It's kind of a different mindset when you start drawing from that saving. It's almost like, can we really do it? Can we, should we? <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you prepared and saved all this time, but then it's kind of fearful when you start drawing from that savings because mm -hmm. you know, uh oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't want this money to run out. <laughs> So that's something that you need to evaluate mm -hmm. and you need to look at. You know, our financial advisor, he kind of has, you know, uh, life as in three stages. The first, the th first third of your life, you're hopefully you're saving and putting money away for retirement. And then when you're 55 to 75 or even 85, uh, that's when you want to enjoy what you saved. And so you're, pulling down the money for those 30 years, say, or 25 years. So you want to plan, you know, how much money can I draw down every year so that it will last for those 30 years till mm -hmm. you get where there'd be, you think, you know, 80 or 85 would be your lifespan. And then from 80 to say, you know, 90, 95, most of the time, most people are going to be doing a lot of traveling so they can spend a lot less and, and pull down a lot less money. So kind of like, you know, your life is in three stages. The first third, you're constantly saving, do as much as you can so that your retirement would be a good retirement. That second third is when you're spending your money, enjoying life, enjoying retirement. Then that final third, your you know, life's kind of slowing down and you're spending less money, so you don't need that much money. Yeah, and his whole philosophy is live well, die poor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you've saved that money all those years don't be afraid to spend it. Yeah. And it, it is a total different mindset. Mm -hmm. And it is scary because you've saved, 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 and now, oh my gosh, I'm drawing this down. Are we going to have enough yes. money? <laughs> you, it, it, it's a scary yes. thing. But you, you've you saved. Now it is the time to enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your money. So this is just some things that we gave you to look at mm -hmm. to see can you retire early? Most people wait till they're at least 62, uh, but there are people who retire in their 50s, mm -hmm. even in their 40s. Uh, but you have to plan for that. Yeah. It doesn't just happen. So uh, we gave you some things to think yes. on today. If you have something you would like for us to talk about in a coffee talk, let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time on Retired and Loving It. If you'd like to see more of our videos, Click the video that just popped up on your screen.